IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. ICSI, ICSI, stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Both of these processes involve stimulating the ovaries to produce eggs, eggs that were going to be lost that month anyway, we're not stealing from the future. We stimulate the production of a supraphysiological number of eggs with the administration of tablets and injections over a course of about two to three weeks. We then perform an egg retrieval procedure that's done under conscious sedation, not a general anaesthetic, and we take those eggs out. The difference between IVF and ICSI is how we fertilize those eggs. IVF involves leaving the eggs and the sperm in a dish together. ICSI involves injecting a good looking moving sperm into each egg, forcing the fertilization a bit more. Which you do will be discussed with you by your doctor. Usually it's related to sperm issues. The resulting embryos are created by the fusion of the eggs and the sperm and grown out in our laboratory for five to six days. At that point, if we have a viable embryo, we transfer it and we freeze any surplus viable embryos that can be used for future cycles. Sometimes we freeze all the embryos. If we feel your success or safety are going to be compromised by doing a fresh transfer, we don't do one and we convert the cycle to a freeze-all. Again, the team will talk to you about that should it happen.